The Mohawk Valley Economic Development Growth Enterprises Corporation, or the Mohawk Valley Edge, is an Oneida County entity that assists businesses in locating areas of the Mohawk Valley that could be utilized for a company's growth and prosperity. With this said, Mohawk Valley Edge is heavily involved in Central New York becoming the top semiconductor manufacturing hub in the country. So our, our eyewitness news reporter Shelby Pay followed up to get their thoughts on the ongoing SUNY Poly situation. As a reminder, it seemed like Governor Hochul gave the notion to the Albany Times Union that the economic development of the Mohawk Valley could be de-emphasized. So I wanted to ask the president of Mohawk Valley Edge, Steve DeMeo, if he thinks it's possible that SUNY Poly becomes disconnected from Quad C. Wouldn't be dis disconnected from Quad C, uh, no, not, not at all. I think what she was focusing on was recognizing the need for boosting the role for SUNY Poly in terms of leading um, a uh, development of a tech workforce. So I think she's correctly focusing on the need to make SUNY Poly uh, a more active part in the development of uh, a talent pipeline to sustain the growth of a, uh, a cross-regional uh, economic development opportunity. So that's what I would hope she meant by that interview. And, uh, you know, those are, those are points that uh, this region has made to her and some of her staff, uh, you know, prior to the election. So I think, uh, you know, we would welcome the opportunities to have those conversations and to point out areas where we think uh, uh, the state could invest on boosting SUNY Poly's profile. And DeMeo further explained that while Quad C is currently fully occupied by Semicron and Danfoss, it's also possible that other businesses can expand into other parts of the Mohawk Valley. Uh, we also, besides Wolf Speed, have the balance of the Marcy Nano Center site, which is actively uh, being marketed and conversations are in place with multiple companies that are looking at that as a potential location for their expansion plans, taking advantage of the Federal CHIPS Act legislation that Senator Schumer helped shepherd through. We're uniquely positioned to prosper with the growth of the industry and the federal focus on a, a, a national uh, industrial policy to kind of boost the United States share of semiconductor manufacturing. So we think uh, those prospects are strong and uh, we're optimistic that uh, besides Micron and Wolf Speed and Dan Foss, there'll be other opportunities uh, here in the Mohawk Valley. And DeMeo concluded by emphasizing that Mohawk Valley Edge has been very vocal to Governor Hochul in their aversion to changing the SUNY Poly Marcy campus. I mean, we, we were not fans uh, or, or in, in favor of the plan to separate uh, the SUNY Poly Marcy campus from the SUNY Poly functions that are at the Albany Nanotech site and have that reunited with the University of Albany. She's, she's fully aware of that. So I I think if the governor is focused on that in the same way we're looking at it, then I think we would be on the same page. Reporting in the Mohawk Valley, I'm Shelby Pay, Eyewitness News. And a positive sign for the local.